Shea Bear 1000 here. Today I'm going to let Monkey tell you a story of how her daughter Leslie received personalized pictures and roses from John Travolta and Kelly Preston. By the way, our hearts and prayers go out to John and Kelly's family. Okay guys, so that all the way, um, here's Monkey to tell you guys the story of uh, how her daughter got um, personalized pictures, um, roses, and a phone call from John Travolta. So here she is to tell you all that. And for, I never, I don't know if I ever told you um, about my adventure with... Uh, John Travolta and Kelly Preston. Um, I'm sorry for John and his family um, about Kelly. That's horrible. I did not know she had breast cancer, and um, that's it's just horrible. As you know, that I lived in Okawaha at one time, which is near Ocala in Silver Springs. Um, up, he lived. John Travolta has a house up that way. And he lived probably maybe 40 minutes away from me. And when I lived in Daytona, he used to have a house over that way in one of the gated communities. And my ex-husband, he worked in that gated community and he met John Travolta. So that was pretty cool. He, John, John Travolta used to jog with his security guard and around the neighborhood there and my ex-husband was roofing at the time I believe in there so that was pretty cool so I got to meet John DeVolta but I also had another adventure with John DeVolta and Kelly um, they used to they did a lot for Ocala area because they live close um, to Ocala so um, he did a lot of um, stuff with the um, homeless children and he also did stuff with the um, baseball for for children so they were always doing stuff um, so every time that he would do a movie he would go to um, Hollywood Cinema in Ocala and he'd do like a premiere thing so we would my daughter and my son and I wanted to go to the movies it was Friday night and he had Hog Heaven out. And when he did Hog Heaven, that they did a premiere um, on the first day. So we were there. And we have a visitor over in the corner listening to me. <laughs> so anyway, so we decided we were going to go. And the kids had told me about this, but kids are kids and I didn't really believe them that he was going to be there with his wife so we went to get tickets and the tickets that we wanted were 8 o'clock show and they were all sold out so we had to wait and go to the later one and when we got there they had a carpet a red carpet and they had a podium and it had a buried buried off where you know they come up and you they you know the the audit well the crowd will be divided so we were like wow this is cool and of course I always loved John DeVolta as a kid so I had Grease albums and all google-eyed when I was in grade six for him so you know he was pretty hot back then <laughs> us girls know anyway so <laughs> we uh, so I'm like oh okay so let's hang out and I didn't want to lose our spot because there really wasn't too many people there at the time I think it was like six o'clock and we were gonna go and get our tickets we were gonna go eat and we were gonna come back well time went and we were standing there hanging out and people had albums people were starting to come and I'm like oh we better not lose our spot you know I want to see this you know I think it was pretty cool so so we hung out and we waited and waited and all of all of a sudden they come out I think around 7 7 30 and uh, they come out on motorcycles and uh, Kelly and 
and John Travolta, they both were all in leather and all this. So they start, they get off the motorcycles on the red carpet, and they start to, one end of, of the theater, they start um, shaking hands and autographs and, you know, walking all the way around. And they walked all the way around until they get to the podium. Well, we were standing near the podium because I wanted to be able to hear what he was going to say. So, um, we, uh, waited, and of course the crowds were just screaming for him, and it was loud, and, and you know, people push each other because you're like neck to neck to each other, it's like, ugh. But I wanted to see this, and then I didn't have anything, so I, as he was getting closer, I looked in my purse for a piece of paper and a pen, and I said to my daughter, you know, you, you, get, you get his autograph. And and um, so she he got closer and so did she and this security guard was right behind the two of them and uh, they were they were doing everything they would they would sign all kinds of autographs and everything and my daughter would be waving this piece of paper and yelling and and he would avoid her totally was avoiding Leslie I don't know if it was just annoying or he just couldn't see because uh, people flash and lights and everything so it must be very hard for them to be able to see too so uh, finally Kelly 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 picked up her piece of paper and uh, signed it and Kelly Preston on it and so my daughter says turns around she says mom I got her autograph and I'm like oh that's cool at least we got one of them you know I was pretty pretty cool and as she said that she goes sheet white and my daughter is an epileptic she went into a seizure so she was having a grandma seizure and I came and I held her up trying to hold her up and so because there were so many people I didn't want them to trample on her and I couldn't hold her up any longer because she was dead white so she ended up on the ground and I put my legs on top of her so nobody trample on her and everybody's hooting and hollering for John DeVolta. I'm screaming at the top of my lungs to try to get somebody to help me. And I got eye contact with the security guard that was behind John DeVolta. And he looked at me and he says, what's wrong? And I said, she's an epileptic. She's having a seizure. So he jumped over the fence that they had, which is nothing. I mean, it could have fell down. And he came over and he's trying to get the crowd away from her so she doesn't get hurt. And um, they wouldn't listen to him. So he's on the radio calling somebody else and this big huge guy with big huge muscles comes out screams at the top of his lungs he says if you don't move you're all going to jail and they just poof, were all gone they all moved they had to put John DeVolta and Kelly Preston inside the theater and they could not talk at the podium until after the ambulance came for my daughter so everybody was standing and waiting you know and a lot of people are not too pleasant you know because they only care about what they want to see so we get her to the hospital and of course they give her medicine Leslie it's like having a heart attack when you have a seizure you know she was in bed almost a week so um, we took her home and she missed a whole week of school and they were trying to get her meds uh, get, they changed her medication so maybe that would work um, so she was she was in high school and uh, when this happened so um, you know the week is almost up and all of a sudden I get a call from the hospital and I'm like uh oh they found something something bad's happened to her blood work or something so they called me up and said well John DeVolta and Kelly Preston were feeling bad about your daughter and they said um, we wanted to, they wanted to call you, but because of confidentiality law that they were, that they couldn't give out our phone number. So, um, they, they told them to give them his and that they would let me know. And if I was interested, I would call them back. So I got his phone number. Of course, it's not his phone number. It's his security's phone number. So I called them back and I told them who I was and I um, 
you know, the hospital informed me that he was, they were feeling bad about my daughter. So, we, um, so he, he, he said yes, they were, and that they wanted to send flowers to my daughter, and they wanted to, to give her some pictures, uh, one of Kelly and one of, uh, John Travolta. So, I said, okay, sure, why not, you know? I mean, you don't get this every day, and why not? So, and it was for her, you know, it made her feel, feel good. And so they had given her a dozen roses, and it was, they were so pretty. All different colors. They were really, really pretty. And they brought them to the house, and then they brought a guy a few days later. He came to the house, and he brought pictures of him and Kelly, and they put her name on it and said, Hope you get better soon, Leslie, on them each one of them so I thought it was pretty cool and um, he also called her he was in an airplane because he was doing the promotion of hog heaven and so he was flying and doing the promotion so he was flying uh, to California and he called her on the telephone so he talked to her he talked to my mother too because I was at work when he called so he, my mother had answered the phone and gave it to Leslie so he got they both got to talk to him so I got shit out of that one <laughs> but oh well I'm the one who was so google-eyed over him and never got to talk to him <laughs> so anyways that's the story and I'm very sorry for John to to be lo losing his wife that's just very sad and we were all shocked, huh? He's single now. Yeah, right. He's, more from you. Yeah, right. Yeah, oh, it's a shame. It's really sad. So. Yeah, from here. Yeah, he only lives about an hour from here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he. I know where he lives. I'm sure the the gate's already full of flowers. I would assume up there where he lives. So, um, yeah. I'm sorry to, to hear that. So, anyways, that was my story for John Travolta. So, now I'm going to do my flowers and show you what I'm going to do. So, there you go, guys. Uh, appreciate you watching. And, again, our hearts and prayers go out to John and, and uh, Kelly's family. So, uh, you know, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, I'm going to say, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys, and have a great week.